show, man. Shout out to the homie Sat. And you know what? Real quick, I didn't get to say happy Lover's Day or day after. You know, happy Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? Some people are like, fuck that, dog. I, you know what? I had a chill-ass Valentine's Day. And luckily for me, my lady, like, fuck, dog. She, she wasn't all extra. She let me chill because, you know what I mean? We're trying to make sure everything else is lined up so it'll be greater later as they say we'll, we'll get our fucking vacations going don't worry about it but happy valentine's day to everybody man and you know what real quick before you introduce yourself um producer shay whitey was yelling at us and you haven't been here in a long time and you already feel offended and you just got here dog it's fucked up go ahead and introduce yourself man yeah what up what up this is medium things your boy medium things straight from long beach you, you know what also known as big man from you know we've known you for a cool minute um fuck dog probably what six seven years now maybe yeah, more eight we maybe. probably pushing on like eight years yeah eight, something, like, something that. like that almost 10 yeah uh but um you've been doing your music for a cool minute and before we get into you know reasons why you were you know a little bit offset from the music i, I wanted to say from my perspective i'm glad to see you doing your thing again and Cool, and man. making music, it. my brother, for I real. It. I was actually really excited to come chop it up with you because it's been so long, you know what I mean? We've been here with uh, AEF, DJ FM, you know what I mean? When we were doing the hip-hop versus rock and all that. So, you know, I had to bring drum rap and the Mexican Shook Knight up in here. I, I seen him when he was getting out of his car in the parking lot. I ran in and locked the door, and then I go, oh, that's Martin. <laughs> I'm cool now. <laughs> hey, Doug, but it, it's good to see you back again. Um... Like I was mentioning, though, you've been always very well-rounded with the music. And let's first start off with that, uh, the, the new moniker, Medium Things, and explain to the people what this is. So uh, Medium Things was a project that wasn't really meant to, to get to where it's at now, right? It was uh, I was chilling with Matt Casket. By the way, shout out, Matt. What, what up, up dog? Um, and then we were talking... And I was listening to some salsa, Hector Laveau, and all this shit. And I was like, hey, John, it'd be tight if we took salsa and mixed it with trap. And then he did, He just kind of gave me a blank look. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll leave it alone. You know what he, I mean? he wasn't sure if you were serious probably at first. Huh? Probably. <laughs> probably. But uh, yet, yeah, I want to say maybe a few weeks later, he hit me with a track. And he's like, hey, what's up? Can you do something with this? And then I was like, okay, yeah. So... You know, I sat on it for a couple of days and then I was, I, I knew exactly what direction I wanted to take it. And then um, uh, that's how Medium Things was kind of born. Well, Medium Things is, was actually started as a joke. So, cause I had a bunch of homies and stuff. I'm like, we need to do big things. We need to do big things. I'm like, dog, I got medium money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to do big things? Like, I could do that maybe on Friday and Saturday, but on, on Thursday, I'm doing Medium Things. And then, you know what I mean? So then that, that's how it grew from there. And that's how Medium Things was born. So did you, when you um, kind of first, you and Matt Casket, because you were telling me, basically, he's producing the, you know, pretty much the whole thing for you, right? I, like, when it first started, did you just automatically get in that zone and you knew that's, I mean, you felt it like that's your pocket? Or were you dabbling in a couple other things till you got that? Because now, I mean, it sounds really good. I mean, I, I already heard some stuff, but it it sounds like really cohesive. Like it's been around for a while. Yeah. Well, yes and no. I guess uh, at the beginning it was it was a little different because now I'm I'm doing 50 50. I'm doing the Spanglish flow. So I'm doing Spanish, and then I'm I'm going back from Spanish to English, and then uh, figuring that out. Um, it took a little bit of effort, but then once I got into the groove, it, 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 it just started to be a little easier, a little easier as you keep going. And then, and then when you feel that groove and you know you're creating something, you know, that dope, like it's easier kind of to, you know, submerge yourself in it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, and, and um, when I'm in the studio, it, when we were in the studio, it was just me and Matt, right? So it was easy to bounce ideas off of each other and, you know, uh, I'll get in the booth and I'll be like, look, I'm thinking about this, this and that. And he'll be like, all right, well, why don't you do this? Try that. You know what I mean? We just work together very well. And then also, um, he actually uh, directed the music video too. So, you know, he he's a dude that has a bunch of talents and a, def uh, a well rounded in a bunch of different areas too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you could always kind of see like, you know, even from me knowing him, 
you know, not even as good as you, but you could kind of see, like, creatively at the time he wasn't done yet like he was gonna try so I mean, I, that's what i felt like you could tell i mean even like we knew him just killing it on the guitar in the band with you guys all those fails and all that well he actually also did some tracks with like dj premiere and oh. shit like that so you know he has some um features and collabs that you know are, are well noted and shit you know what i mean and he used to do a lot of the drum and bass shit back in the day too so um well, he's well-rounded as well, you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of talking about how you, you've you been able to kind of, um, you, you've you taken your own approach to, like, different, like, sub-genres, I guess you could say, of music. And, you know, from, from doing, you know, with All Else Fails, it was more aggressive, more of the, you know, the screaming and the, uh, you know, on the hooks and stuff. But, oh, you, you guys had ballads and shit, too. You guys had dope track. And, uh... But then to take it to this new direction just shows your versatility also as an artist. Yeah, no, definitely. And I mean, um, you know, it it it's that rock is something that's definitely like in my heart and I like to do, which um, we actually me and drum rap, we in the band right now called Death Poet. And um, that's actually been going pretty cool. I'm actually engineering and recording the new album that's supposed to drop hopefully before the summer. Um, you know, just like everybody else with this whole pandemic, you know, we had shows lined up. Well, the first and last show that we did was over there in Downey at the uh, Epic Lounge. Okay. You, you were the host. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that was. Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a cool minute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was a long right. time ago. So I want to say that was February of 2020. Yeah. And, you know, I guess that's when. Yeah. When it officially wasn't all the way in full motion. We're muff, like where everything stopped. Right. It was about that time. Yeah. Yeah. It was right before it. Yeah. So, you know. So, yeah. So I've been doing I've still been doing my rock. I've still been doing um, the medium things is new, though. That's definitely new to me. I've never really put out anything as a straight up you know rapper or anything like that i've always included it into like, i was gonna the, say the, the it's been music. in the music because yeah, you, you spit your verses i heard them yeah yeah for real and you know it, and i've done like collabs with uh crazy rays and, and other people and that that just specifically just rap you know what i mean so to come out and start doing some rap like coming from a background of doing like rock and alternative and industrial shit like that so you kind of have a different perspective on how you can with the experience you know what i mean you have a different perspective on how you can do certain things with certain beats and certain uh melodies and shit yeah i was gonna say that in melodies and the way you um you don't know you, you can be an aggressive style or you could lay back on it you let kind of the beat tell you i guess what to do and yeah, or the right, music right. that you have behind it and it's it's also good to see that you know your your team's all still together you know drum raps here and shit and and uh you know tony and and uh big martin and even and matter of fact uh, i got my sinuses cleared earlier i tried his salsa uh martin's hot salsas man we're, we're gonna yeah. uh, show you guys something before the end of the the interview but um but yeah cleared my sinuses but it won't stop me i'll have more so you know what i'm saying uh they're 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 good dog and they're pretty hot but they're good um let, let's talk about it bro you um obviously went through some some uh things that a lot of people probably might have uh, not came back around from right, right i guess you could say and um you know again what i wanted to state like i told you is that i'm i'm just glad you're back doing creating again because um like you're dope at what you do and as far as making music bro so uh, you. man um you, you can go ahead and talk about it if you want um you know, this is what going on. I, how four many years? Four years yeah, now. Okay. Four years. So yeah, I mean, you know, everybody knows. Um, you know, I got shot. I got shot point blank in the head. And, um, all kinds of crazy shit happened. You know, my wife passed away behind all that shit. Um, so after I came out of the hospital, motherfucker had to learn how to eat, walk, talk, fucking sit up right like how I'm sitting right now. So then. Um, you know, after I got out the hospital, I was like, you know, I'm fuck it, I'm done. You know, I'm done with music. I ain't fucking with this shit. You know, it just brought all this shit to me because it was behind like band rehearsal. So that night we were supposed to be practicing, and uh, homeboy showed up to my house with a strap. He wouldn't sit the fuck down. I'd be like, hey man, you know, have a seat. 
And all I remember is getting hit, hit in the head. I thought it was a baseball bat, but you know, apparently it wasn't. And that's about it, dog. So anyway, I came, I came out of the hospital and I was like, I'm fucking done with music. Drum rap was like, dog, you know, think about it, sit on it. You know, even Christine Devine reached out to me and she was like, yo, you can't. Oh yeah. She's always yeah. been a supporter of yeah. you guys. She's cool, man. She's dope. Yeah. So she reached out and she was like, yo, like you can't tell you, you can't let this dude take your voice. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I it was almost two years without doing nothing. And then Matt, like, he was like, hey, dog, come on, man. Come on, let's let's get in the studio. I got the studio. So I started doing some um, track tracks with some homies, Machete um, and Briante from, uh, from Puerto Rico and New York. And they were kind of like on that, kind of like going on that uh, reggaeton Latin trap tip, right? So then I started doing, I started with doing hooks and then just doing a, a, you know, a verse here and there. And then little by little, I was getting pulled back into the music. And then now it's just, Did, let me, let me ask you this, bro. Did you feel, um, like a, any kind of weight lifted off you when you started going full back in the studio again? Because I know, you know, that's something you, you, you can't ever let go. I mean, you're a musician dog, so you can't, you know, did you feel, um, did you feel it? Yeah, when, yeah, yeah. The, the, the short answer is yeah um i i feel like i get more released off when i do death poet because that's more on like um more like on the series like more f well thought out put together arranged music you know what i mean uh medium things is more on the lighthearted. i mean some of it shows up in some of the songs you know what i mean but it's like more lighthearted. i'm more about like let's have a good time and you know what i mean let's not you know get crazy and well let's get crazy but then like, don't fuck nobody up you know what i mean but let's get crazy like we used to at the yeah, AEF shows yeah, exactly the, we yeah. used to get crazy and have fun and have a good time yeah, let's do a mosh pit let's you know have where, some where fun. you slap hands after him yeah buy the homie a beer if you fucked him up a little bit so <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying let's keep it peaceful man hey man and and you know especially like you mentioned um you know during these times it's there's a lot of different ways that people are finding to at least stay pr productive and positive like i've been mentioning almost every week since this shit started that's what it boils down to for me is staying positive and productive because this shit wears on air everybody dog They're shutting shit down and you know uh telling you what you got to do and then not being able to go places you used to go and so yeah, no it's getting crazy they're telling you what to do how to think what you can say what you can't say you know it's 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 fucked up but uh you gotta find you gotta find a reason to smile you gotta find a reason to be cool you know what i mean if you gotta smoke a blunt fuck it smoke it you know what i mean if you gotta drink a shot fuck it drink the bottle you know what i mean but uh just do whatever you gotta do to you keep your mind right if you gotta you know <laughs> If you gotta eat an entire edible that you're only supposed to take a piece of, like Eclipse does, yeah, do what you it, gotta dude. do, and then, and then eat Martin's hey, hot sauce after edible, that. Bro. See if you don't sober up. <laughs> My brother Eclipse, hey bro, you know people they tell stories like I've even done it before. Like when I smoke, I'm cool because I kind of know where I'm at and how to judge it. But edibles, sometimes it'll creep. But my brother Eclipse. He don't believe in that. I'll take uh, it to the next Yeah, level, he man. don't believe in that sample. Let me try it first. Nah, he, he'll take the whole shit. Uh, yeah, oh, gonna, that was an edible? You, My yeah. bad. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? You know, I thought it was just a regular brownie. It was like a half pound. <laughs> but, but, hey, bro, it's, a, it's again, it's good to see you back. Um, The project, uh, let them know, you know, what they can expect, how many tracks and all that. And and then also following up, is, is it going to continue with the band project after? Oh, um, well, yeah, definitely. So for the medium things, uh, you can find the music video, which uh, is on YouTube. It's medium things, Yolo Ago. Um, that was real fun to shoot. Um, shout out to my boy Fernando that brought all the low riders out. Um, that was a fun shoot. I, I was going to say it looked fun. Like, like just being there was fun. Like it was like a throwback to being at shows again or even at a, you know, a car show or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, it, cool. it, yeah, it was dope. I mean, we did a carne asada. You know, everybody brought bottles and, you know, the, the, the homie brought the pit bull. And we had, I want to say, eight low riders. And um, one of them actually broke when it was hopping. <laughs> so he was hopping it, hopping it, hopping it. All of a sudden you just hear it. Oh shit, what happened? 
So yeah, he had to get towed out. But anyway, um, shout out to Fernando. Thank you for that. You can find the video on YouTube, uh, Medium Things, Yolo Ago. You can find uh, all the tracks we did, a total of uh, seven tracks. You can find that on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, all the streaming platforms under uh, Medium Things, not Things, T-H-A-N-G-S. Um, yeah, and then also, too, uh, if you guys want to check out the rock music that I'm doing, um, Death Poet, like I mentioned, is coming out with an album, but we got uh, three tracks that are going to be on the album on YouTube. You can just find that on uh, YouTube with uh, Death Poet. Hey, what uh, kind of what kind of rock music are you into, hard. bro? Uh, I'd say, you know, Deftones is definitely up there. Nine Inch Nails. Hey, Chino's the shit, bro. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I could scream better than him, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta check your music out then, bro. Yeah, for sure. Check it out. But it's definitely influenced a lot by, uh, you know, Deftones, Tool, A Perfect Circle, uh, fucking Nine Inch Nails, Depeche Mode. You know, that's my shit. You You're know what I mean? Room, bro. So yeah, we and and our guitarists are are some heavy ass metalheads. So and you then, know, I mean, we could play a show and keep up with Enemy. So you know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah, oh dude, that was a dope show too. That that was one of and, and shout out to our homie Drum Rap as well, man. I mean, you know, we've been seeing him for quite a few years now too. Come in, did a you know back and forth set with DJ FM when we first met him, and then you know uh, throwing down with your groups and all that stuff too. But yeah, we did it with Sloan killing. too when we, we oh, played yeah, with yeah. Sloan and Lazy Bone, and you know we've been around. We we played with some good musicians and rappers and stuff like that. We just want to keep it going, keep having a good time. You know what I mean? Hey, shout out to the homegirl Psycho Queen. I think she might be in the chat too. Oh yeah, I haven't but, seen her in a long time. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. But you what know what? Psycho I, Queen. I, that's what I remember. The reason I brought that up is because, you know, uh, Mexican Shook Knight over there used to put together these dope shows. And, we, and you know, me and Wacko, would get, we, either we would host or we would do, like, interviews or on the spot, on the scene shit, you know, for the show. And um, I remember that's where, like, she used to tune into the show and then we first met her there. And it was crazy because then, like, I had already known uh, her man Cheech. Like, I already known him and, uh, like, we put all of it together. That's why I kind of brought it up. Cause it was like we finally met there um, at a, at an event that you guys threw. It was one of the hip hop versus rock shows. I think it was the first one, the the very first one. We had some dope events. Yeah, no, it was fun. I mean, me and Martin been talking about trying to bring hip hop versus back, uh, versus rock back. I think it's uh, it's something that can definitely benefit the community of, of musicians that are not doing anything right now sometimes, you know what I mean? So look, this is what we're gonna do before, uh, you know, we tail off the interview, just uh, we'll play the video right now. Shay, do we, uh, you got that loaded? You ready? Let's do that, man. Uh, go ahead and introduce it. Yeah, so this is a video, medium things, Yolo Ago. Also, don't forget to sanitize Tidy Claw. Yeah, right? Oh, wait, and when we come back from the video, we're gonna show you that too. All right, for sure, yeah. medium things, Yolo Ago, check it. Let's go. I'm in the Matrix, but it's not like the Matrix Matrix. Man, what you talking about, dog? You know how the Matrix was all white? Well, this is all black. And there's water on the floor. Water? Yeah. How'd you end up there? I don't know. I woke up this morning, I had a beer, and I went and got the mail, and inside the mail, there was a box with another box that was made out of stone and it had ice. Dog, you fell for that cheap manji? Nah, ain't no animals, it's just everything is black. Clearly, your ass got some magic dice. I... I then... See what it do. Fibonacci! Fibonacci! 
Si me dicen que no puedo, yo lo hago. En la calle me conocen como vago. No me preocupo y yo siempre me relajo. Con la manía y los chavos yo me pago. La gente quiere más, quiere más. No vamos a parar, no vamos a dejar. Tú sabes que nosotros venimos para chambear. No somos regular, no estamos para jugar. Acostumbrado del trabajo, solo pienso de los chavos. Y tú sabes que no vamos, pensamos de los recados. Y lejos de aquí nos vamos. No tienen por qué no pueden, tal vez es porque no quieren. I'm rolling the lucky seven. Yo puedo hacer lo imposible. Me dicen que soy increíble. Soy un milagro con recado. Tal vez un loco sin reparo. Y no me quedo para abajo y no me asusta el trabajo. I keep on working something like a heavy Harley motor. Just had a little guess, I'ma go ahead and blaze a path. I could give you the numbers so you could go ahead and do the math. Si me dicen que no puedo, yo lo hago. En la calle me conocen como vago. No me preocupo y yo siempre me relajo. Con la manía y los chavos yo me pago. La gente quiere más, quiere más. No vamos a parar, no vamos a dejar. Tú sabes que nosotros venimos para chambear. No somos regular, no estamos para jugar. Bandolero, bandolero, bandolero. Tengo hambre como pobre perro callejero. No me espero que me estén tirando huesos secos. Todos dicen que lo hacen, pero yo no veo. Aquí yo vine a ganar, a mi manera eso ya tú sabes. I guess the hustle just became a real filthy habit. I keep the profit, I don't really need to split it. Everybody on my team is really coming with it. Media things to catch, yeah, we the ones that get it. Breaking down doors like we the ones that's gon' fix it. Paper on my mind, yeah, we the ones that print it. If that booty was the case, then I wouldn't be acquitted. Si me dicen que no puedo, yo lo hago. En la calle me conocen como vago. No me preocupo y yo siempre me relajo. Con la manía y los chavos yo me pago. La gente quiere más, quiere más. No vamos a parar, no vamos a dejar. Tú sabes que nosotros venimos para chambear. No somos regular, no estamos para jugar. Si me dicen que sí, me dicen que no. Yo estoy en la celda y el dinero de Steve. Si no me toman en cuenta, a mí me pagan la renta. A ti nunca te gusta y a mí nunca me asusta. A ti todo te gusta, a ti tú eres all my woes. Gotta stay on my toes, yeah, you know I go. Si me dicen que no puedo, yo lo hago. En la calle me conocen como vago. No me preocupo y yo siempre me relajo. Con la manía y los chavos yo me pago. La gente quiere más, quiere más. No vamos a parar, no vamos a dejar. Tú sabes que nosotros venimos para chambear. No somos regular, no estamos para jugar. Make sure you guys go on support uh, the movement and, and uh, the, the new music, which I'll explain before we end the interview. Um, real quick, again, shout out, man. Martin's Hot Salsa is right here, man. This is the homie right here. He's been the year um, of the entrepreneur. Yeah, he's been doing stuff with us for a long time, but I just got to firsthand try him out. And I like hot salsa, dog, but you know, I'm I'm fucking half white, dog, so I turn red and shit when I eat some hot shit. So uh but <laughs> but it was still good and I keep eating it. So uh but yeah, check this shit out right here, man. And I'm sure um he'll come through and uh, eventually give us all the links to everything too. Um also we have this uh portable size hand sanitizer here that you could carry with you and i didn't know you and matt were making these as well yeah yeah so um that started after we did the music video we we're like all right dog we need to do something to get a business cracking so we started a, a clothing line and then COVID made that shit go to shit so then, yeah right so then we we quickly pivoted and we were like all right well everybody's on sanitizer fuck it let's do hand sanitizer so we got uh tidy cloth um, you can find it tidyclaw.com. You can buy it, the hand sanitizers from there. What's cool? It fits in your coin pocket. You yeah, know what I mean, if you're wearing jeans, it, ladies, it fits in the bra. You can't even see it. Uh, yeah, you know? ladies fit all kinds of shit in their bra, so this yeah. ain't nothing right here. Yeah, they put real. fucking cell phones, all kinds of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah for real. <laughs> maybe, maybe have it. Oh, you need a laptop real quick. Yeah, right, right, Bow! Right, right. Bow! Got you. What it do? Oh man, this mic don't work. Oh, I got a microphone right here. <laughs> hey, check. <laughs> 
<laughs> a tidy claw hand sanitizer, man. Yeah, but yeah, it's it is. And I just noticed that it's like a little uh, push, like a little squeeze uh, thing on there, so it makes it yeah, easier. Yeah, it's like a little spray. If you, you if you ain't got no pepper spray, fuck it, just hit them with yeah, that. Yeah, hit them with this in the yeah. eye. Yeah. Hey, that's good that you said that it was like hand sanitizer, bro, because I thought it was something else. I was like, hey, well, what is this? Am I going to eat it or what? Or drink it? Or <laughs> he like, he well, thought it was an edible. Hey, oh, well, hey, hey, dog, you drink it, you might get drunk, but... You well, know, I, I don't know if it'll do anything else. Yeah, Spray it on my tongue? What do it I might do? clear your system. It says it clears 99.99% germs. So, yeah, you'll have a nice... Just don't inject it or ingest it. Yeah, yeah right? You know what I mean? <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Please. Oh, no. We had enough of that last year or whatever it was. For real. Hey, hey go, it was. go ahead. Up, let, uh, let everybody know where they can uh, get at you. Check out the music one more time. Uh, the videos, all the best spots to reach you and all that. Yeah, for sure. So uh, basically, IG, just hit me up, Medium Things. Um, uh, YouTube for the video, Medium Things, Yolo Ago. Um, yeah, social media, Medium Things. Just and, hit me up, whatever. And what, then let's the, do what it do. And then uh, more music coming soon after. Yeah, with the yeah, for sure. Uh, more music coming back. Maybe we could get Death Poet in here. Hell yeah. Um, hey, you know, we, we, with you guys, I think we're one of the first groups that we fit the whole, like, we fit every oh yeah we were rocking you guys in performed here. in here yeah, like yeah, a we, lot of times we were rocking yeah. in here so yeah maybe uh maybe we'll bring death poet along and and have chop it up with the guys and see see what's up when we get the album done oh yeah man that's what's so, up yeah and like you mentioned i'm glad you said that man it is entrepreneur time and we just people had to reinvent the way they do things like you said you had tour planned out or music or shows planned out pandemic stops all this shit and like we just got to keep figuring out a way to get through yeah you just gotta we'll find steer a way through man yeah find a way human Fuck beings it. are the most relentless man let's go yeah that's hey, real talk hey uh thank Especially you for coming bro oh yeah yeah Th thank you for coming bro I, I appreciate you man and uh i'm glad again that you guys are back to doing uh music and uh getting back in your zone and stuff man it's real dope uh any shout outs man before we go yo shout out to everybody that supported martin drum rap uh, the whole AEF family, um, everybody that supported with the music video, um, you know, the, the director of photography, Phil, Fernando, again, with this whole uh, lowrider crews coming through, Streetwise, uh, Islanders, you know, everybody just thank you very much for supporting Medium Things. I appreciate it. That's right. We're going to get this flick in. And then we got our next guest coming up. Matt Bella's in the building. Let's get a B-side show. Act like you know.